like to welcome you to College Like a Titan, episode two. My name is Deontay Carter. I work in student life and leadership development. And my co-host is Carl Ye, who also works in student life. Carl, take it. Thanks very much, Deontay. And yes, welcome everyone today. So uh, today we have Shed and Trio as part of our episode. Uh, and I do want to emphasize that Shed and Trio, not Shed versus Trio, but for some reason, Shed brought three people to this. <laughs> this is the one person from Trio. I don't know what is up with that, but because this isn't some kind of battle or fight, but with that in mind, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and introduce in this corner, we have, you know what, I see Miranda right now. Miranda, could you introduce yourself to the group? Yeah, I'm Miranda. I am a STEM TRIO student advisor, um, and I'm here to just talk about TRIO today. Great. And in the other corner, we have Shed. Let's start with Armando. Oh, uh, uh, I am the library te technology something, something, something. I don't remember. <laughs> Super, but I don't know what it is. Coordinator. Some sort Services of coordinator. Yeah, there you go. Know. Thank you very much. I always forget that title. Uh, who cares anyway? <laughs> but um, I'm part of, I'm one of the um, full-time uh, staff persons that mans the SHED, the Student Help Desk. And here with Armando in his corner are uh, two student workers. Uh, let's start with Kelsey. Hi, I'm Kelsey and I work in the SHED. I'm a student worker and I'm here to talk about the SHED today. And then right next to her is Kian. Hi, I'm Kian. Uh, I'm a student worker as well at the shed. Um, been there for about a good year now. Um, so I'm just here to also help talk about the shed as well. Great. Well, thank you very much, both of you, all of you, for coming today uh, to talk about your respective groups. Uh, I'd like to start with the first question for either group, which is I noticed there is a little tiny letter in each of your names. Why is that? Please explain yourselves. Uh, you know, Miranda, I, I, let's start with you. All right. Yeah. So I had to do some research for this question. And so basically, you know, I think one of the things is TRIO. Um, some people think it's an acronym and it actually isn't. So it's just TRIO. Um, and the reason we're TRIO is because we used to be three um, services and we've actually expanded into eight as far as like the federal government goes. And so we're just one service of those eight, but it used to be three. And so the little, we have a little I in our trio, and that's because there's four letters in trio and three letters represents kind of three programs. And that checks out. Earlier, Miranda and I were talking about whether I would <laughs> contradict her story. It's like, that is, that, that is the correct, that's the story I know of, right? Right. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You explained your little I. And so in, and trio means three too. So, mm -hmm. um, and now uh, Shed, please explain. Why do you have this little E in your name? Um, you, you yeah, I'll, that? <laughs> I'll yeah. answer that. <laughs> um, so the reason why we have that little E in our name um, is because originally if it, it just, it stands for student help desk. Um, if we just went along with just regular, letters it would just be a s h d which isn't really like that catchy of a name um so basically we just made it shed um just so it's more catchy and recognizable um the e just means the h e just means for help so basically it just means student help desk um or the shed that makes a lot of sense and thank you both <laughs> for um you know, enlightening us on the little letters in, in your acronyms. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go into the next question. Um, next question is, what tutoring and or academics mistakes did you make when you were in college that you wouldn't make now because you're a pro? I know that kind of was just right off into the deep end. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start with Kian. Go ahead, Kian. Um. Well, I would say we're probably since I know a lot about where to help students and where to direct them if they need help. Um, I would say 
probably I wouldn't make the mistake of not seeing an academic advisor way late. Um, cause that would have, if I did that way earlier and I had knowledge of what that is, um, I would have definitely have taken it like quicker <laughs> to figure out what classes I should do and take. Um, and also I would also just use my resources more. Um, if I, I learned so much working at the shed um, that I just wish more students knew. Um, and I would definitely would have come into the shed and then ask where I can find certain things such as like, who can I talk to the register for a class? Um, how do I, can I claim my Gmail account? All those other type of stuff just to help me a lot better navigate my way through the whole um, systems that we have at Lane. That would be the main thing. Thank you, thank you. And same for you, Kelsey. Yeah, just going off of what Kian had to say, like utilizing our resources and working at the shed, there's so many resources that a student has access to. Um, and I, I really wished at the beginning of my college career that I utilized checking in with advisors and tutoring. They have been so great to my academic success. Um, and so, yeah, just utilizing resources. <laughs> Yeah, I figure you two know how to college like a titan because you get all of the information or the questions from mm -hmm. students uh, about what they're not sure about and need more help on. And I completely, yeah. just so you know, I completely agree with you. Uh, utilizing that advisor is really critical uh, because it their college is complicated just enough that it really does help to have someone guide you through it. And uh, no one's expecting students to do that all on their own. So thank you for that, that little bit. I think it's Miranda's turn now. Sweet. The trio. Yeah. yeah. I think kind of, you know, bouncing off what both Kian and um, Kelsey said, uh, very similar. Uh, I think as a first generation college student, I would have loved to know like what trio was during my time in college um, and to kind of find that resource as well as just, you know, getting, meeting with an academic advisor, understanding like the term by term planners um, and how there are prerequisites for courses and really being able to kind of ask for help and mapping out what my path could look like academically. Thank you, that's, that's very helpful. Yeah, I was wondering, could, could you explain a little bit more about what TRIO does for specific students? Yeah, totally. So TRIO is a specific student support services program, and it's for students who identify as first generation, which means neither of your parents, guardians, caregivers received a bachelor's degree, or if you're a student who identifies as low income or having a disability. And so if you meet one of those three criteria, um, you can apply for our program. And what we do is we specifically work with students of those backgrounds um, to navigate the college system. And so we can do everything from academic advising to tutoring, to talking through how to transfer, pretty much all the things. Okay. And um, I'm gonna propose the same question to Armando. Um, I know you all kind of explained on what the meaning behind the name is, but what is SHED? for students, what, what is SHED? It's kind of like a, a one-stop shop for students who are seeking help. I mean, uh, we can direct them. We're like a, like a traffic, well, not a traffic um, director, kind of like, you know, if somebody needs help with enrollment services, we guide them to enrollment services. If they need help with their, claiming their email account, we can help them with that. Um, so we kind of guide students to the resources that are available for them so they can navigate the system. Like, like uh, uh, Carl said, it is not the easiest thing to do if you're new to the college. Once you get a year under your belt, you are pretty much you know, knowledgeable of what you have to do. Uh, but that's, what, that's where the shit comes in. It's kind of like we're in the middle between the student and the college. If they have any questions or needs, we try to accommodate those. As, nice. best as, we can, as best as we can. Nice. So it's like you all are like modern day operators or like traffic lights in a sense, like 
Right, exactly. Yeah, I, I didn't want to say I didn't want to say we're like a traffic cop because we're not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got we, you. We guide people to their the resources that are available to them for them. Okay, like user navigation. I Pardon? Like user navigation. I right. Guess. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Sure. You're welcome. So I got a question for both groups again. So a genie pops out in front of you and says, I will grant you one wish, not for you, but for you to use for your students. So for, uh, let's, go, let's actually go back to Trio. For Trio, which is just you, Miranda, uh, what would you wish for for your students? Mm, that's a really great question. Um, and I'm gonna go because, you know, I can have any wish I want. Um, so I'm going to go big and just say that I would wish that any student who walked through the door um, achieved what they wanted to academically and personally. That's awesome. And if you didn't have the genie, how, how do you think TRIO could, could help a student get there? Great question. So yes, we can do that too. So, and pretty much that is through, you know, talking with students about what their goals are um, and either personally, you know, like in our meetings here, you know, kind of like getting on the computer, researching, mapping out a plan. And if it's something that TRIO specifically can't help with, we will connect the student to the service or support that can. Thank you so much, Miranda. You know, this sets uh, shed up a lot because, you know, the, the person before you basically just said, whoa, peace. <laughs> and so, you know, you have, you have some choices to make here. So shed back to you. Uh, Jeannie comes out, says, hey, I'm going to grant you a wish for one of your students. What do you wish for for your students? Uh, any, I, would any, like, any? I would like to answer that one. <laughs> I would one like more. for students to um, have a clear path without any worries about economics, mm -hmm. about, uh, you know, uh, racial discrimination or anything like that, to be fully focused on their studies, to become, uh, to, to become, uh, how can I say it, uh, successful at their studies. All these things that are in the back of their minds, how am I gonna pay for this? How do I jump through this hoop over here? How do I do this? I mean, that's why we're here. That's why the shit is here. That's why Trio's here. But if those were gone, it would be awesome for a student. That's what I think. That's what I believe. If somebody asks me, if a genie comes up, what do you want? Take these hurdles out of the way. Just make them go, period. <laughs> no, that's awesome, uh, Armando and, and Miranda. They're beautiful sentiments. I think that's uh, accurate. And, and the same kind of uh, follow-up to you, Armando, with shed slightly less magical powers, how could you help students achieve exactly what you just said or, or not have those barriers that you mentioned? We send them to TRIO. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Although not everyone, because uh, TRIO does focus on certain populations, uh, what, what are some other places that you send students to? Well, I, I understand that, but you know, I was I was being kind of comical there. I mean, we send them to their oh, wow. different resources, you know, financial aid or whatever time you fill out your FAFSA. And these are the kind of hurdles or, or, or jump or hoops that they have to jump through that I wish they would disappear. Very true. Well said. Uh, Kelsey and Kian, you look like you might want to add. Yeah, no, just what um, they both had to say is just so accurate. I mean, having the ability, if we had the ability and a genie came up um, to take all of the stress away and just to have everyone be confident in their academics and reach their academic endeavors, that'd be excellent. Um, but we are here, though, to help them navigate through all those tricky things. Um, and yeah, like Armando said, just different uh, departments. We all work together collectively, which makes such a big difference um, in all that success happening. That's right. The only anxiety a student should feel is not studying for their final the next day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did you have something else to add, too? Um, well, I, I feel the exact same way of just like... Um, if a genie could come out and just have all the worries that come with college go away and so they could just focus on improving themselves and being better uh that would be awesome um but you know genies aren't really real so <laughs> um the way that we can do that as a shed to try to make that become a reality is 
like we said, is like referring them to places, but also I, I kind of look at it as a way that we can teach them things, mm -hmm. teach them how um, Lane operates, like teach them how we can we can help them or so they can help themselves in the future. It's kind of like a learning situation where they come into their Zoom room. They're like, hey, I have this problem. I have a bunch of uh, students that come into my Zoom room where they uh, have issues with like Word. Um, how do they submit that? to um, their Moodle or like submit assignments and stuff like that. How can they get in touch with their instructor? And it, we just go walk through it step-by-step -step basis and help them out that way. And they, they learn from that. Um, and it's just, it's kind of like a, we give them a little bit of a learning experience on top of what they're already learning. Um, I think that boosts a lot of confidence in students that come in um, and helps make that wish a reality in a way. I, that is a wonderful response. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kim. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if it were up to me and I had a wish, I would wish that, you know, college was free and you got paid for your grades, whether they were low or high, high the grades, high the, you know, pay. And also you didn't have to worry about food or transportation. But hey, that's just me. But <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, uh, moving on to the next question. Um, um, so this this comes up, especially for like new students who may not be familiar with Shed or Trio. Um, I will throw this out to any of the members at Shed, um, this question. Are you all a student group, a program, or a resource? I would say um, we would be like a a resource uh, for students, if I'm understanding the question correctly. <laughs> um, we we do have uh, like student workers here, um, but I would say that we're like a resource for students to go to, to um, get help basically. Okay, anyone else from SHED wanna add to that or that's spot on? That's, that's spot on. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> okay. nailed it with that one. We're just, a big resource epicenter uh, for students to go to. I love that. Yeah, yes. and okay. we work together. We're always communicating with uh, other sections of Lane. So, yeah. Okay. And the same question proposed to you, Miranda. Um, are you a student group, resource, or program? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that we fall under being both a program and a resource. So we are a program here that's specifically federally funded for uh, certain populations. And then, you know, under that kind of branch of being a program, we are also a resource to our students um, to, you know, either be the resource of support or to find the resource. And I guess, you know, we do have groups of students that hang out, but we're not a student group exactly. Okay. Hey, thank you very much. Um, so that also ties into like my, my next question. Um, so, and I'm going to go back to you, Miranda. So can anyone utilize your program's resources or your department's resources? Yeah, great question. Um, so unfortunately, you know, not everyone can utilize our resources um, specifically kind of, we are federally funded. So we are, it's necessary for us to meet certain requirements. And so that being said, students need to apply to our program. And then based on that, we um, will admit students if they meet the criteria, which is typically being enrolled, being holding an identity that I talked about already. Um, and being degree seeking at Lane. Okay, so it's, it's about certain demographics. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's good to know, thank you. So yeah. same question for anyone at SHED. Um, can anyone utilize your department's resources? The short answer is yes. Anybody, nice. anybody can add and use our resources. Uh, we're more tailored to students because they're the ones that are here on the college, but you know, we help anybody that calls us or emails us or get comes into Zoom and we help them with whatever we can. You know, if we can't do it, we'll try to point them in the right directions. Uh, parents, uh, grandparents, um, you know, people looking for pa bus passes, whatever, 
it may be, we try to give them the correct information. And it, it um, you know, it, it works out. That's the way we work. That's the way that we are. You know, we don't turn away anybody. Yeah, there's yeah, think of you as like Grand Central Station or Fred Meyer, one of those two. <laughs> yeah, You're not sponsored by Fred Meyer, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> no sponsorship, but anyway. <laughs> so, um, you know, a good way to cap this off is like, how do I reach the shed, and how do I reach Trio? And I think one difference is that I think Trio actively tries to get to students that they think qualify for them. Whereas Shed, you are so popular, you don't have to do that because they kind of, they need to come to you if they're trying to find <laughs> something often. Uh, so we'll start with Shed. Shed, how do I reach you? Well, um, I would say the, the best way to reach us um, is that you can just type in like Google or something like that. Just type in Lane Community College uh, Student Help Desk. That'll lead you to our webpage which has a whole bunch of information of who we are, um, the services we offer and stuff like that. But on that webpage as well, there's a bunch of contact information for like our Zoom room. We have a whole between the tutors, um, enrollment services, financial aid, and the shed people, and I believe even trio people. Um, we have a whole uh, lane support hub, basically. Just, just this big Zoom meeting with a bunch of breakout rooms. Um, so, we have a link to that there. Um, you would just go to the front desk, ask to talk to someone who's in shed, and they'll put you in a breakout room with a shed person. Um, that's the best way to get reach out to us. But we also have a phone number that's listed on the website and an email, which is just shed at lanecc.edu. Well, cool. and Miranda, how, yeah. do, how do you get to how do you get trio students? Yeah, so we, there's a variety of ways. Um, we do classroom presentations. Um, so um, used to be in person now via Zoom. Um, we also are open right now on campus. And so students can come by. We're in building one room 218 to 19, which is upstairs um, above kind of like where financial aid, I don't know if it's where they are currently or used to be. I should look into that. <laughs> um, and so you can also look for us though on lanecc.edu slash trio slash contacts. And there you can email us. Um, you can call the phone numbers listed. Um, you don't need to know if you're trio or trio STEM. We can figure that out for you. Um, yeah, so call, um, there's ways to zoom in email, all the things. Yeah, I was going to say the, the best thing to do is to not worry about whether you qualify for or not, but to go ahead and contact you so that it, yeah. let you figure that out because that's the most important thing. And I think Armando's right. Uh, you get uh, Shed is a feeder for TRIO. So there, there is that. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I want to thank everyone for uh, actually, you know what? We've, uh, I think we have, a, we have a little bit of time. You know, we have a few more minutes. Is there any last things that you'd like to share with any student who's, who might be listening right now? I do. Yeah, go do for it, forget, Don't forget to use the search bubble at the Lane website. It is an awesome resource. Very, very, uh, very, very, um, how can I say it? it? You can find all sorts of stuff there. We use it at the shed ourselves. If you type in anything that you want in that little search bubble, on the upper right hand corner of the main page, you can find out a lot of information. Like I said, we use it uh, and it's a resource that students can uh, find just about everything on, on, on at Lane. Careful, that thing's gonna put you out of business. <laughs> no, no thank, thank you for that, Armando. And um, I will say also thank you to Shed because you also do help us employees that work here as well because there are some questions that sometimes the search engine can't really assist us with, but shed shed employees will help us. So kudos. Thank you. And our quick final thoughts. Go ahead, Kelsey. Oh, I, I wanted to add something. We have um so in Moodle, we have an option for like an instant chat. And that's another great way to get a hold of us if you're having troubles with anything. Um basically it streamlines a message right to us and we can get back to you instantly if you can't join Zoom, so yeah. Our Zoom link is also there as well. Um, mm -hmm. Just pretty much just any student that has access to Moodle, um, there's, a, there's a thing that says uh, get help here and it's this big 
yellow banner that says help that's in your courses. Um, and yeah, that's also a really good way to reach out to us. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that because I did not know that probably because I yeah. don't Either. use Moodle that way. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I know. It in. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank, thank you. you very much. Oh, go ahead, Dante. You want oh, to I was just saying thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and thank you again to all of our guests today, uh, Armando, Kian, Kelsey, and Miranda. Thank you, Shed and Trio, for all the work that you do, but also for being available here today and to share what your departments do. And so hopefully you'll join us uh, again in the future, either as an audience member or, uh, you know, you should give the new people some trouble, you know, ask some questions. Too. <laughs> but we'd love to have you back again sometime. So thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. You all have a great day.